Hi, this is Mike Dillinger at Mountaineer Hearing in Morganton, North Carolina. And I want to talk about a topic today as, as far as how to properly store and take care of your hearing aids, where to put them and where not to put them. So every time I send a patient home, I always tell them what I want them to do is start this habit today. Don't wait till tomorrow, don't wait till next week or a month from now, because if you do, it could be too late. So what I mean by that, if your hearing aids are not on your ears, like where mine are now, You've got one or two devices. You may have a pair of hearing aids that are rechargeable. So if you notice, this is simply a charging base. The instruments pull out, they drop into it, and that's where they should be. So you don't come home and put them on the kitchen counter or a nightstand or something. Put them in your charger. If you have batteries that you do change, then you're probably going to have a storage case like this or something similar to it. So this pops open put them inside and that's where they should be. If you keep them at one of these two places, you'll always know where they're at. If you put them at different places throughout your house, day after day, you're always going to be looking for them. Second thing is, let's talk about the bathroom. I think the bathroom is the worst place to put a hearing aid. Too much water, too many places they can go, they cannot be retrieved and uh, there's too much moisture in there. So I think that's a bad place. Put them somewhere in the bedroom, nightstand, on top of a dresser, somewhere like that. And that way, they're going to be in a safe place. The third thing I want to talk about are your animals that you have in your house. I have dogs. I have one dog and a cat inside of my house. Of course, we have an outside dog. Um, understand that animals can see, they can smell, and if the hearing aid is turned on, they can hear things coming from it that you and I cannot hear. This is a proven fact. So keep your hearing aids away from dogs. That's another good reason to not put them on the coffee table or anything like that. So make sure wherever you keep them at, whatever you keep them in, whether it's a rechargeable or a case, make sure you put them up somewhere where animals can't get, cannot get a hold of them because I promise you, I have seen it. They will hunt that hearing aid down and sometimes they get a hold of it. You don't want that to happen. Next thing is, if your hearing aid does get wet, there's a couple things you can do. The main thing is, is just simply dry it off, maybe hit it with a hair dryer. If you do have batteries that you change, open the battery door, remove the battery, throw it away, let it dry out overnight. Recharger, well, you can't really do that because typically most of those are sealed up. If you do have a problem with it, bring it to me. We have a high intensity vacuum chamber in the back. If we put it into it, it does a great job of removing any moisture inside of that instrument. And we'll be glad to take care of that for you. I hope this answers some of your questions. And if you have any others, uh, please feel free to reach out to me. Our number here at uh, Mountaineer Hearing in Morganton is 828-433-7452. Thank you and have a good day.